Am I in there now? I'm trying Google Hangouts now. Can you hear me? Let's see if we can get these people in this chat room here. What's going on, everybody? Y'all in here? Y'all good? Is this better? What's up? What's up, man? Trying something different now. It's all good now? Am I good? Yes, indeed. I'm letting everybody join the chat real quick, you know. Had to fix that audio problem, man, you know. I don't know what's going on. It was my, um, I don't know what it was, but I got it fixed. But anyway, <laughs> now we back. Hey, let's go. You know what it is. It's your boy, Isaiah. Coming to you live from Buckles Locker. Subscribe, like, comment, share on all my videos. Make sure you hit the notification bell icon to notify you on all new channels that's posted on this video. Make sure you check out the Buckles Locker Facebook page and the Twitter page. And if you want to donate, feel free to donate. It's all good. All donations are welcome. I'm going to let this chat room get a little filled up a little bit. Um, so join the chat, everybody. Come on in. I know we got we to do a preview video. So, you know, we're about to talk about the Browns. The Cleveland Browns. Dog pound. This, this video is not going to be long. This is going to be uh, kind of a short one. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. You know, I'm not going to try to make it uh, too long. You know, but um, make it long enough. Make a long story short as I get everything set up. So we're going to talk these Cleveland Browns, you know, see what these boys are running into. Anyway. I was trying to find a Cleveland Brown page, fan page, so I can come troll a page, but I didn't find nothing. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. So here we go. We're going to talk about the Cleveland Browns. Mark Duffner's debut as a DC, as you can see the title of the video. Um, What do we expect from the Browns versus the Bucks? Uh, it's going to be an interesting game. Um, a lot of energy I'm expecting from the Bucks. Fresh new voice, you know, um, Baker Mayfield, um, young gunner. He's full of energy. He's uh, revolutionized the team. They believe in him. They didn't believe in Tyrod Taylor. So let's talk. Let's talk about what is the keys to victory and the keys, you know, the, the, the go three and three and not lose. You know, um, <laughs> uh, first and foremost, play better defense. That will be the key. <laughs> That's right, key. Play better defense will be the key. Um, can't get no worse than where we are now. So, um, so offensively, um, like I said, I'm not going to um complain about the offense because I always say the offense gonna always be good. Um, we're ranked number two in the NFL total offense, number number one in passing, and number two in passing. Uh, let me pull up the stats real quick. I actually was looking at it. Um, yeah, number one in passing yards, 364 yards a game, 31st in rushing, 79 yards a game. We, we don't have a running game, even though it was better last week. Uh, we had over 100, 100 yards rushing last week as a team. Um, points, we are 28th in points, so that's a good thing. So offensively, I'm not going to too much harp on the offense. Jameis is the key uh, on offense. Um, he can't turn the ball over. Um, he has to stay within his uh, stay within the frame of the system. It's a good system. Uh, it puts up a lot of yards, a lot of points. And Jameis, this is this is his second full game. So you you say this is his second full game back, and hopefully he got a lot of the cobwebs out and not try to force plays. Uh, Make sure he check down the ball. I know he want to get the ball down the field, but just check the ball now if, if the play is not there. You don't force it, and especially in the red zone. You can't throw red zone interceptions, Jameis. You hear me? You cannot throw red zone interceptions. I repeat, no interceptions. Can we get a no interception game for Jameis, please? 
I mean, that's all I want for Christmas. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, hopefully, uh, James got all the Cowboys out. Like I said, and uh, hopefully the running game show up. I want to see more of um, Ronald Jones. Uh, he's doing a lot better now than he did before. Um, I like what I'm seeing from Ronald Jones, and hopefully he can get some carries and hopefully he can get about ten carries and some screens. Um, receivers. I mean, I ain't got too much to say about the receivers, man. OJ Howard, you know, Cameron Brake. Hopefully, get more than one catch. Um, Adam Humphrey, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, and I gotta talk about Deshaun Jackson. He he's a moody guy, man. I don't like I said, and I said it before. I don't think he like Jameis. I really believe that he doesn't like Jameis Winston. I, I just don't believe that. I think he just got a thing against him. You know, I, I just I I don't think he's feeling Jameis like that, like he feels uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. So hopefully James can feed Deshaun Jackson early so um he won't start crying and moaning and complaining. You know, he he he's moody, you know what I'm saying? And I, he need to get it together or we can go ahead and get Chris Godwin in there and take his spot. Um but we'll see how that works. And Peyton Barber, he's gonna run hard as as usual. The O line is looking real good. Uh, we're in the top 15 in sacks allowed. We we don't give up a lot of sacks. Um kudos. Kudos to the O line. We don't give up a lot of sacks. I like that. Um, but we're gonna see how that works. Um, but offensively, we'll be fine. We'll move the ball up and down the field. Uh, the Browns defense um statistically is not great. Um, they're okay. They're not great. They're tough. They just they 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 just tough overall. But defensively, I'm looking at their stats right now. Um their rankings is not that good. I think. Like I said, we'll be able to move the ball with no problem um, as long as the O-line blocks. And they, they have been blocking on the left side. But the right side, you're right, Grizzlo. Uh, Caleb Beninod, um is has been a sore, sore thumb. Stick out like a sore thumb. And um, we don't need that. So we're going to see how that transpire. I mean, Cleveland defense gives up um, 406 yards a game. So we'll move the ball. We'll get over 400 yards offense on them with no problem. Uh, defensively, uh, the Cleveland Cleveland's offense is not a world beater. They do have a rushing attack. They can run the ball very well. They're in the top ten in running the ball. Um, they're, they 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 pound. They like to pound the rock. They got a lot of running backs: Carlos Hyde, Nick Chubb, Duke Johnson. You know, they got a they got a couple good weapons in, in Joku, Jarvis Landry, Antonio Callaway. Shouts out to the Gators, go Gators, Antonio Callaway. He's a he's a beast. Um, so they got weapons, but it's not like world beaters. They're not gonna they're not gonna uh scare us like the 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 Pittsburgh Steelers or the Saints, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I will say this though, uh we can't underestimate the Browns offense because you know we let the Bears offense go up and down the field on us. So we're going to see what happens. Um, like I said, uh, I ain't going to make this video long. I just want to kind of give you an, uh, a, a brief briefing on uh, what I think about the preview. Uh, injury report, um, Gerald McCoy and Vinnie Curry um, probably going to be out. And I was reading that not too long ago. So the injury report, it, the injury report is out. Uh, I don't think Gerald McCoy and Vinnie Curry is playing. They didn't participate in practice. And usually on Wednesdays, you do full participation or at least a limited um, but I don't think those two plan, which means uh, Vita and uh, Mitch Urin and Bo Allen will get a lot of playing time with William Golson. Um, but we're going to see what happens. On, on, on Maybe on Noah Spence can get activated and um, get some playing time. But we're going to see. Um, our defense got to hold up against their run because the Browns are a rough team. Uh, they're going to pound the rock, and that's what they want to do. They just want to run all day long, and we can't allow that. They're fifth in the league in rushing, um, 137 yards a game. So we got we got a uh, we got a top five rush defense. I think we're ranked number three or four in, in the NFL in rush defense. So it's gonna be our run defense versus their run offense because they don't throw the ball very well. They rank 23rd in the NFL on um, passing the ball. So due to the the lack of talent on the outside and a lot of drops, they lead they they in the top like 10 in drop passes. But then Joke was a nice weapon, uh, and Jarvis Landry is a nice weapon too. So. We have we do have issues with the slot receivers. So MJ Stewart, 
Javion Elliott, you have a you have your work cut out dealing with Jarvis Landry. He's a little dirty player too, so be careful. And Carlos Hyde and Nick Chubb and Duke Johnson do run the ball very hard. So we had a problem with Tank Co uh, Cohen, so Duke Johnson can give us problems too. So I, I expect some sacks in this game, a couple turnovers, and um, I think we're going to pull it out. Um, I'm going to give you my score um, based on our offense versus their offense. Um, I think we can outscore them with no problem. I'm going to go say – 28-17. 28-17. The Bucks win. And we go to three and three moving forward. And the dog pound go home and cry and go back on their 16-game losing streak again. <laughs> or the 11-game losing streak. Uh, but they don't they don't match up well against us. Um, I think we look we we uh we cut above them. You know, a couple cuts. But they they're coming along. They're coming along fine. But anyway. What do you guys think about this game? Give me your predictions in the comment section, in the chat room. Give me your predictions on the score. What do you think is going to happen and what you think the score is going to be? Feel free to post your opinions, whether it's, you know, you're hating or you're liking. It is what it is. But other than that, man, very simple video. I'm about to head out. Let me give my little shout outs. Uh, ain't not that many people in the chat room right now. It's a late video. It is what it is. But I see the normal people in the chat room. I see y'all, man. I appreciate all the love. But y'all know my slogan. You know how I'm going to kick it off. It's your boy, Buckles Locker. Coming to you again. Subscribe, like, comment, share all my videos. You know what time it is. Support the channel. Share all my videos, old and new. You know, and y'all know my slogan. But oh wait, wait, you know, you know, I, I always do this before I get off the, the channel. Let me get my shout outs. Uh, Will, Savage Man, Andrew, uh, Travis. I see you, man. I appreciate the support, man. Y'all follow me real good, man. Um, y'all know what time it is, man. This is hump day, Wednesday. The game is almost here. Make sure y'all ready. You know what I'm saying? As in the words of Jameis Winston, we're going to raise the flags and they're going to fire the cannon Sunday. Hopefully they do. And we should be able to go three and three with no problem. And I expect a lot from the defense. Well, expect something different from the defense. So anyway, it's your boy Isaiah. Coming to you from Buckles Locker. Subscribe, like, comment, share all my videos. Make sure you hit the notification bell icon to notify you on all new videos that's posted on this channel because you don't want to miss no new videos that's posted. Hit me up on Twitter, email, fire those cannons or fire the cannons, 813gmail.com. If you got any questions specifically, you want to ask me in an email. And also, you can also become Buckles Lockers uh, on Buckles Lockers friend list on YouTube as well. That's in the description box as well. All donations are welcome. And y'all know my slogan. I want y'all to fire those cannons and siege the day. Salute. I'm out.